Hello and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm Joe. Today we're going to be looking at expanding our company a little bit. I've been doing some little trips in uh, in our Volvo lorry. You will notice as well that it's had a little bit of a makeover. I thought we'd paint it in this striking uh, green and red livery. Not too similar to Eddie Stobart, which I was absolutely kicking myself that I didn't call our company Eddie Jobart or something like that, something to that extent. How annoying is that? Never mind. Never mind. Right, we're here at Manchester. Uh, we've just finished shooting our, uh, our latest adult film and we've picked up a job. We're off to Carlisle today, which is actually very important. Uh, I do like the fact that when you're inside your lorry, you've got this, this kind of green going on. You can see the green from the external paint job. And I, I put that glitter ball in. I can't remember if I did that last time. But we've now got this lovely little glitter ball swinging from the ceiling. Isn't that nice? It's very nice, isn't it? Right, so let's uh, let's get to our first pickup. I am also using the Pro Mods 2.51 at the moment, which is very nice. Uh, if you have been watching this series and you're thinking, "Ooh, I'd quite like to uh, quite like to play Euro Lorries myself," I have put some links into the description where you can get it a little bit cheaper. Uh, it gives you a Steam key. And, uh, and you download it through Steam. Uh, we've, well, it's highly recommended, partly because, number one, I will get a small commission through you doing so, and, of course, you get it at a much cheaper rate. You can also buy your DLC for it through there as well. Pro Mods is free. I'll put a link to that in the description also. A bit further on. There we go. Right, so, freight market. We are going to be going up to Carlisle. We're taking some... Acetylene, I'm assuming it's that and not acetylene. Acetylene uh, up to Carlisle, lots of it. There we go. It's going to pay us seven grand. We could go to Berlin for forty-six and a half thousand pounds, but this is only a short video, and I want to end up in an English city slash town. It's a city, isn't it, Carlisle? Yeah, of course it is. So, uh, yeah, we are well rested. We've got enough fuel. I reckon we can get to Carlisle on the amount of fuel we've got. And, uh, yeah, like I say, we've got £161,000 in the bank to play with. Uh, so that's because I've been uh, doing quite a few jobs since we last saw each other. Just literally pottering up and down. I am wanting to expand the company, however, by uh, buying a new depot which uh, more on that later. So yeah, we're all connected and away we go. It's coming straight out. Uh, at some point I will do a, uh, a run on the multiplayer. There's, uh, there's a little group of us now that play uh, Euro lorries. And uh, it's, it, it will be quite nice to be able to drive together, you know, and, and record that and see, oh look, there you go, there's other people playing online and Real life people, you know, lovely. Very nice indeed. And the fact I tend to get caught speeding a damn sight less on the multiplayer. I don't know if uh, if speeding is a thing on multiplayer, but yeah. Nope, oh, we've committed. And we didn't get a traffic offence either, so that's nice. I was, uh, I was driving with one of my friends, and uh, this was when this lorry was still silver. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a few hours ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not this corner, but the one after I ended up rolling it and crashing through the railings. So uh, that cost about £30,000 to repair the damn thing. Which was annoying, actually, because I was driving pretty much to the top of Scotland. I think we went to... Well, it's not the top of Scotland exactly, is it? But Auburn. And uh, it, it was only paying me about fifteen grand. So it was soul-destroying, just leaving Manchester to smash the truck and cause... £30,000 worth of damage, only to realise you're going to have to drive all that way and still make a £15,000 loss. Yeah, it was this corner. So we're, we'll just take this corner quite gingerly now. Every time I've had a run out of Manchester, I just take it easy, you know, no need to rush. Right, yeah, we'll just go nice and steady around the corner. I have also turned the settings down. Why have you turned the settings down? What a stupid thing to do, I hear you ask. Uh, well, on the uh, on on this group of group of dare I even call them friends? I, I might call them friends. 
colleagues, acquaintances. Lorry driving colleagues is uh, is a good one. Uh, they uh, one of them is actually a real lorry driver, and uh, he was saying, oh, he's put his settings on on kind of this, and that's how you get the best experience. So this is why my lorry handles like uh, a slightly out of date blancmange. You know, we, we can't go around a corner more than 12 mile an hour without it rolling. I mean, uh, just just look at this when we're outside. Look, look at that. Way! It's literally like driving jelly. And we're about to tip over as well, so uh, let's not do that. But yeah, so I, I have got the settings turned down. Oh, hang on. These chaps are slowing right down for this corner, so we better had as well. Ooh. The problem is, is that I'm probably going to end up being slower than them. I oh, know, I'm, I'm slowly getting past them. We're going to say I'm probably going to end up being slower than them, so I'm going to end up being in the fast lane and uh, and not going that fast. There's nothing worse, is there? I mean, like when you're in the car as well, and you go to overtake someone, and then they set off when you're like halfway past them and kind of undertake you and then you're just left in in the fast lane kind of like a bit of a lemon like oh well now I now I look at it in a slow car are we uh, oh there's nobody there yeah I just realized that you could uh, well I didn't just realize it I realized it a few hours ago uh, that you can actually lean out of the window I mean it must hurt my head because I haven't actually put the window down I've smashed my head through it uh, but yeah much much easier to park the damn thing when you uh, when you can lean out of the window and look you can just kind of see roughly where your trailer is unless you need to look out of the window on the other side uh, and then you're somewhat knackered because you you can't get up and, and drive from there no whoops I kind of want like a little bed I've got a shelf behind me I want to put a bed in it for when I when I go like, on big long journeys Shall we? Shall we get out of this middle lane? I don't think we're catching that chap in front up any time soon, are we? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to have a look at the customization options for uh, my Volvo FH. I think we're going to buy some sort of other truck. I don't think we'll be doing that today because I can't afford it. Um, oh, also, what I forgot to mention, I paid off the loan. The £100,000 loan has gone. We do not have that loan anymore. So I know you might be thinking, oh, 161,000, you're not doing very well there, Joe. Well, yeah, but I've now not got a loan. Whoa, hey. So, uh, so that's good. That's very good indeed. I'm just thinking, yeah, well, if we're at 56 and he's at 56 in front, we may as well just stay here for the time being. He doesn't look like he's got heavy cargo. Oh, 50. Got to be careful here because there's a speed camera just round the corner. And you know how I was ranting about the fact they're not yellow? Well, with the Pro Mods add on, they are yellow. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a proper English speed camera. You can see them better now, so you can, uh, you can slam on easier. You're, uh, yeah, you're speeding down here. Oh, well, it goes to national there, so that's fine, isn't it? Why are you in the... Oh, you're coming off there. Right, okay. Well, then, it's alright to be in the middle lane, isn't it? Because we're not coming off. I mean, I don't think this junction was here before. I mean, the Pro Mods has added so much into it. You know, there's a lot more functionality, a lot more places, a lot more buildings. I mean, if we go to the map, last time when we went to Hull... Did we go to Hull last time? I don't know. But now there's actually, like, buildings in Hull. So you can make deliveries to Hull. We've got Hollyhead, Port Maddock... Aberys with fish guard. You know, we didn't have any of this. We've got Ireland, Isle of Man, Stranra. There was just none of that. And then uh, all, all kind of round here. Even Iceland. I mean, look at that. We'll explore that at some point. We've got all up here to explore. Uh, so, yeah, if you have got Euro lorries and you have not got the Pro Mods add on, why not? It's sensational. It's spectacularly good. This is another corner that I tend to struggle on. Not this bit, the next bit. Kind of like, yeah, we'll, we'll just take the, uh, take the cruise control off and we'll just kind of coast around this corner. 
I made that look a lot easier than I, I did last time. Last time I think I was on about five wheels. Have I got ten wheels? Yeah, I've got about ten wheels, haven't I, on an articulated lorry. We've also got a couple of extra motorway services. I don't know if these were here before, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't remember, but, you know, even if these ones aren't new, there are other motorway services that are new. Ooh, saving at the top. Very nice. So if it crashes now, at least I can kind of respawn at this point. Always nice to know, isn't it? Kind of like a little safety net. Oh, we're staying on the motorway. We're not coming off. I don't know what you come off. Do, do you go to... I didn't read the road sign. Do you go to Newcastle that way? Maybe. Maybe you do. We could look on the map, but I think we've consulted the map too many times already. We don't just want to constantly be looking at the map now, do we? Ooh, 26 miles to Penrith. I don't think Penrith features in this. I don't think you can actually go to Penrith. It's just nice having the road signs. And I think that they, uh, the road signs are a lot better as well, because like I said, it says Penrith on that road sign. When you're around Manchester, you've got Manchester and a plane for, for, well, Manchester Airport, obviously. Or did the Manchester with the airport next to it, or with the plane next to it, did that maybe mean the ship canal? No, I think it definitely means an airport, because they'd probably put a boat on it if it was for the ship canal, wouldn't they? I mean, that would make sense. I can't believe it said we were meant to arrive. Hang on, hang on, why are we slowing down here? Way! Leaning a little bit. I can't believe it said we were going to arrive at half two in the morning. I mean, I've not been speeding, have I? I mean, really? Well, as in, no, I haven't at all. Thank you very much. Unless time progresses a lot quicker than, uh, you know, what, what I give it credit for. Because it is kind of flying along at a fair whack there, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Should we be in the middle lane? Uh, no, Carlisle coming off this next exit. Right, well, we'll uh, we'll stay behind the mini and Mr. Lorry with a flashy, flashy orange thing on the back. Some call it a beacon light. Flashy, flashy orange thing sounds a damn sight better though, doesn't it? What's happening here? Oh, you're in the wrong lane. You've not been... Oh, for Christ's sake. Hold on. Right, let's consult the map. Ah, that's not too bad. We can uh, we can continue round. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I, I could just cut down there, to be honest with you. I would be lying if I said I'd never done that in the past. Well, I want to see what the gossip is. Normally there's, like, a helicopter. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a... There's a car stuck there. Oops. Oh, globe trotters. Hello, Volvos. Yes, I know, Satnav. I didn't want to come this way either. But the police are making us. Well, don't shout at me. They shut the road. I mean, they, they didn't really need to shut the road for that, did they? They could have had one police uh, man at each end kind of waving us through and uh, maybe some temporary lights if they wanted to be that extravagant. I think shutting the road is a little bit extreme, would you say? I'd probably say that.
Right, so 50 mile an hour and a speed camera sign. That means there's going to be one hidden. Right, we'll see if we can come off here then. Oh, there we go. Speed camera. Hello to you. I'm doing one mile an hour over, but I don't think it detects it. Well, it, it doesn't. You've just seen it doesn't detect one mile an hour over. Hey, get on them brakes. You're about to go whizzing off down. Oh, that that's not as much of a bad hill as what I thought it was going to be. Sometimes you come off at these junctions and you're like, hey! Full on G-force. See, I'm actually, and this is going to take a little bit longer, isn't it? But I'm going to go left here, purely because I've not explored this little tiny bit of road. If it's shut down at the end, I'll be furious. But it means we don't have to go to where that dis uh, the same way as that disgusting Renault Magnum that I've just seen in our rearview mirror. Oh, there it goes. Awful. It is pulling a Euro Goodies trailer, though. I do like the Euro Goodies trailers. I'm kind of a bit gutted that we're not Euro Goodies today. No matter, no matter. There we go, we've explored that bit of road. Don't you feel better for doing that? Get rid of all the grey off the map. So why is this bit not shut? Ah, because you need to get to E Acres somehow, don't you? I should have looked that we're not going to cut anybody up there, because we've kind of cut the corner a little bit. Right, let's get on those brakes. I'm assuming that there is a depot in Carlisle. I think I can see a grey, like, little house symbol. Could you imagine if we'd driven all the way here and there wasn't a depot? I feel like such an idiot. Right, we'll go left here. Bit of new road to discover as well. Mm-hmm. We love a bit of new road. Right, we'll get in this lane. Yeah, that's looking depoty to me. Yeah, right, well, that's where we're going to go after we've made our delivery. Oh, we're speeding. I think you'll find it, it was kind of my right of way there, rather than, you know, just, just doing what you've just done. It's quite rude, actually. Right, where are we now? We're on the left somewhere. Oh no, it's one of these. Oh, I hate these. They're so difficult to get through. You have to kind of really swing wide. I always end up smacking it on the wall. Always. Well, we'll just go nice and slowly. So if we smack it on the wall, it won't pick up too much damage. Oh, that's terrible. Right, enter park. Park it over there. Awesome. Right. Are we are we stuck? We're stuck on the wall. Never mind. Full power and we'll get through it. Where do you want us? In the most difficult possible place to park in the depot. Of course. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I don't hold grudges. Right, there we go. Let's have a look out of the window. That's fine. So we want to go... We want to kind of go that way, so we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a bit of the old that. Yeah, you, you're not turning quick enough there. Right, okay, nope, no, it's fine. We're not giving up just yet. Right, okay. Go backwards. Let's just make sure we don't hit the wall. Okay. That's looking good. It's in good shape. Yep, straighten up and keep going back. That's looking very good indeed. Keep it at that. Ooh, you're getting a bit quick now. A bit cocky. It doesn't help when it keeps prompting you at the bottom left saying, You can skip all this. You don't have to fanny around parking your trailer. Just skip it. 
It's like, no, because I want the experience points. That might not let me have that. That's not going to let me have that. Fair dues. There we go. Right. Back you go. A little bit further. You can do this, Joe. You've got it. Yeah, you've nailed it this time. There, that'll do. It's completely not straight, but it's fine. That'll do. Yes. And we even got an excellent and some monies. Spectacular. We're a professional. Level 16, that's how much I've played since you were last here. Right, let's go out and buy this depot. Get that annoying... Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, take your handbrake off. That's kind of the... Uh, the first thing to do when driving. Well, it's really not the first thing to do when driving, is it? it but it's a pretty important... You know, it's kind of up there. In, in order to achieve movement, the handbrake has to be off. Right, let's go down to the depot and see how much it costs. Now, the last time I had a look, it was like 100 and... 63,000 maybe, so I'm hoping that depots don't cost different amounts in different places. Otherwise we, uh, yeah, we, we could be knackered. I also hope it's not one of those as well where the, you know, it gets more expensive to buy the depots the more depots you buy, because that would be annoying. Right. 157,000? Consider yourself bought, my liege. There we go, that's the first time I've ever done that. I, I don't think I've ever actually played Euro Lorries enough to get to the stage of buying a new depot. And this looks depot-y, unlike the last place, which, hang on, why, why are we rolling... Why are we reversing into the road? There, what, what's that all about? Wow! So we can now drive into here. Oh, it's like an actual depot! What, what, oh, hang on, yeah, turn that off. So what can we do in here? So we've got Carlisle, daily profit not available. That's because we don't have any lorries here. We don't have any drivers. How do we how do we do that? Ooh. Driver manager. Uh hang on. Recruitment agency. Yes. We don't have one in Carlisle, or maybe we do and I've not discovered it. Manchester. Hire a driver. Yeah, who have we got? Uh, so we want Uh oh dear, they are all a uh uh, unfortunate looking bunch, aren't they? Well, what what can you do? So you've got... I don't know what the symbols mean. So you can... You can do something. Is that is that fragile delivery? Is that urgent deliveries? I don't know. You're pretty good. Patrick R. You're, you're very good. Ah, but you're good as well. We check M. Robert L, you've only got two out of the three. Ah, but you've got two there, and, and you're... Oh, and you can drive explosives and fragile items. Ah, but Kenneth, you're, you can do expensive deliveries. Let's hire... Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Hang on. Uh, mm. Nope. Patrick R. Because you're a little bit cheaper. Consider yourself hired, sir. Carlisle, pop you there. Pop you there. The driver will arrive shortly and will start working, providing they have a truck to drive. They don't have a truck to drive. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. That's annoying. Because we don't have a truck... And we don't have any money. Well, we're just going to go out and get a truck then, aren't we? Where's, where's the bank? Uh, hang on, how, why, why can I not buy... Why can I not borrow 100,000? Ah, is it is it done on, like, how much I've got? Right, well, we're, we're borrowing 350. There we go. We'll, we'll just take the maximum amount. We can always repay it later. Uh, let's have a look. Truck dealers. Let's go and find a truck dealer. Now, who have we got? So we've got Scania. Oh, it's it's they're not open, are they? We've got Man, Iveco. I don't think I've actually discovered a Renault dealership yet. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lose sleep over that, you know, the, I'm not a massive lover of the Renault trucks. What, what are you? You're a Volvo. Let's go and have a man. Yep, let's visit the dealership. Ooh, you're a handsome looking chap, aren't you? So, so what's that? That's the man TGX. And that's the TGX Euro 6. You're the so essentially it's between two models, isn't it? The TGX or the TGX Euro 6. Well, the TGX looks bigger. You know, it kind of looks a lot bigger, doesn't it? I, I think that's good. Hang on, we'll, we'll customise the config because we want you to be in, in our kind of company colours. What do you look like in that? Ooh, you look good in that. Okay. Uh, do we want to splash all out? I mean, that looks nice. It's completely cosmetic, but it looks nice. How much is this going to cost, first of all? Where, where's the, like, final price? Ah, new total. Bloody hell. What, what are you going to be good at? So you'll be really good at heavy cargo. We could have, like, a heavyweight lorry, couldn't we? We could. This, this will be good for all our heavy things. Yes. What, what can you do then? So you can be 16 speeds. So you, you're going to be like our hill truck, aren't you? Right, so standard UK. Exclusive UK. Hang on. So, so what's the difference? So you look like that. You look like that. Well, it's going to have to be the exclusive. I mean, look, it's got a cup holder. What, what more could you possibly want? Okay, paint job looking good. That's fine. Let's have a look inside. Can we? Oh, we can. Can we have a bed? See, that was what I was saying. We we want a bed. We can have a cushion. Excellent. That's just what you want, isn't it? Uh, a beige blanket. Oh, that doesn't look. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, it's it's gonna have to be the the lorry bag. Um. Yeah. The the you know it doesn't kind of look like you could get particularly comfortable. That matches the back. There we go. We'll have an ETS2 pillow. What else can we have? So this this is just going completely ridiculous. We don't. That's ridiculous. No, don't like it. No, get rid of it. Don't like it. No, I don't like all this curtains and frilly nonsense. We could have a mirror. Nah. What? What? Are you, oh no, that that's not very good at all, is it? Hmm. No, not a lover of it. Not a lover of it. Driver's play, windshield corner. Oh, we, we could have a... We could have the, the sat-nav. Do we need a sat-nav? could have a mobile phone. We don't need it. You don't need to spend it. Don't spend it if you don't need to. Well, that's ridiculous, because you've just spent a stupid amount of money. Right. Okay, purchase that. Do I want to drive it? Yes. So we'll give the Volvo... Poor Volvo. We'll give that to that guy. Wow! Look at that! Our new heavyweight lorry in our Eddie Jobart colours. It's a V6, V8. Oh, even better. Well, there we go. That is uh, that is where we're going to go. Oh, that's as far as we're going to go today. I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure that you click the like button. It helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And, of course, subscribe so that you never miss out on any of your Euro Truck Sim 2 favourites. Until next time, cheerio, and of course, goodbye for now.